Today's paper is RCNN, Rich Feature Hierarchies for Accurate Object Detection and Semantic Segmentation. This method is a simple detection algorithm proposed in 2013. It achieved mean average precision of 53.7 on VOC 2010 dataset. The method makes region proposals and applies CNN on each region to determine whether the region contains object or not. The figure shows the overall pipeline of the method. Given an image, the method first extracts about 2,000 region proposals. Not all of the proposals contain an object, meaning that some are positive regions that we want to find, and most of the regions will be from the background. Once the regions and their corresponding bounding boxes are acquired, we can warp each region and feed the warped image into the CNN-based feature extractor. The extracted feature will then be used by the classifier. This classifier will tell us whether a warped image input contains an object that you want to find. For example, as shown in the figure, if a warped region contains a person, with high probability the classifier will tell that a person is found. At the region proposal step, it uses an algorithm called selective search. Note here that the RCNN does not use a CNN architecture to make region proposals. Given an input image, all the pixels are first broken down into pieces, and they are grouped in a bottom-up manner to group similar pixels, considering features like color, texture, size, and fill information. Once the regions are proposed, a feature extraction module composed of five convolution layers and two fully connected layers are used to extract meaningful information in an image. The extracted feature is then used to classify which object is in an image using class-specific support vector machines. If the warp image patch contains a meaningful object, the corresponding support vector machine will tell that the patch contains an object with high probability. To boost up the performance of the used CNN model, authors split the training process into two steps. First, pre-training is performed using ILSVRC 2012 dataset. This is a classification dataset, thus it does not contain box labels. At this step, the CNN feature extractor learns to extract meaningful information by looking at many objects in an image level. Once pre-training stage finishes, domain-specific fine-tuning is performed. In this stage, a full image is fed in, and about 2,000 region proposals are made. From about 2,000 region proposals, the model takes positive samples where intersection of a union between ground truth and proposed box region is greater than 0.5. The method first takes 32 positive samples and takes 96 negative samples to form a mini batch of size 128. Here, negative samples are random non-object areas that can be found in the background region. Now here, the result shows detection mean average precision scores on VOC 2010 dataset. The overall score of the method is about 10% greater than the SEG-DPM method. Also, compared to other methods, it achieves state-of-the-art performance on all object classes. Here, the figure shows the model performance on ILSVRC 2013 dataset. At this time, Overfeed was the best performing object detector, but the RCNN model outperformed Overfeed model with a mean average precision of 31.4, where the Overfeed model's performance was 24.3. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today and I'll see you next time with a new paper.